Like our other clients across the UK, Preston City Council employ the latest technology to offer a more efficient and cost-effective service to the community. Adding value with web technology is synonymous with the service that the communication departments deliver. The content management system and intranet is at the heart of the solution, which, along with e-forms, allows the council to communicate and publish information whilst the public can make inquiries in their own time. Stephen and Melanie can tell us more. We're at Preston City Council this afternoon to talk to Stephen Parkinson. And your role, Stephen, at the council is? I'm Head of Communications here at Preston City Council. Thank you. Stephen, just a couple of questions for you uh, about um, Web2 technologies, um, how you've implemented them, and the work that Web Labs has done. So maybe if I can start off with um, an interesting subject for our viewers, which is can you identify any financial benefits or benefits in time or for users uh, in using Web Labs technology? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, we use the uh, Web Labs content management system and, and other uh, modules too as part of that. Uh, it's definitely made a big difference to us, um, not least because we'll be able to provide a very uh, comprehensive and uh, well thought website and it's not just us that says that it's very highly reg regarded by soccer team in the better connected assessments it's a um, three star um, website that's um, you know very well uh, scored in that assessment so we know that it delivers um, a good service and service that our users appreciate we also get very good feedback I think uh, our uh, websites are showing 85% satisfaction from users, so it's very high, yeah. and we know we're hitting the mark there. And um, what it enables us to do is provide services uh, online and information online that otherwise people would have to phone or, t or uh, contact us face to face, all of which um, is at a cost. I think, I think there's some evidence to show that the cost of a web transaction is 17 pence per transaction, face to face is 8 pounds, and telephone is 4 pounds. So, you know, it's very simple to work out that by providing the information online, providing the services online, uh, we can deli deliver that at a much cheaper cost than um, doing it either face to face or via telephone. And um, it's, you know, it certainly works for us. Well, you've touched on something interesting there, which is the, the use of uh, Web2 technologies and how that supports the community. But in, in terms of having a successful IT deployment of that type um, and, and working with e-government systems. What's your experience been with Web Labs and how they've supported you? Web Labs are a very um, proactive uh, company. They're, they're um, easy, to, easy to work with. Um, they kind of know the market very well, so they're treated very well as clients. They know that our needs and what we need to, uh, what we need to do and how to respond to that in the right way. And I say, I think, think the best thing is they're um, always very keen to help. So we might have a, a request to do something. The government all of a sudden changes the rules and we need to do something else. Um, we can very quickly go to them and say, look, we need this kind of platform. We need this kind of uh, application doing. We need to deliver it online. Um, please can you do it? And um, it's always at a very good value for money. And um, it means that we can deliver things on time and in a cost-effective way. Thank you for those comments. I've got some technical questions now, so would it be all right if I put them to Melanie France, your colleague? Of course. Thank you very much, Stephen. Okay. Bye. So, good afternoon. We're here at Preston City Council to talk to you about um, implementation of and use of Web2 technologies within the authority. So, um, you are? I'm Melanie France. I'm the web manager at Preston City Council. Thank you, Melanie. Um, could we start maybe with how do you use the Web Lab CMS? to deliver services to, to the community, to the tax payers? Uh, well, we use the content management system to basically um, put our information on to the website for citizens. So we have about 100 web authors um, throughout the council who are responsible for adding information about their service onto the website. Um, so that means that basically the services can put information on as and when the need to without coming through walls, um, so they can it's it's put on straight away, so that the website's kept up to date. So the, the, the information that they're publishing to to the uh, to the CMS is is it working with any other systems? Are you integrating or linking with any other technology in the authority? 
Um, yeah, we've got um, the pay payment forms are linked to our payment back office payment system. So that means that people can come onto the website and they can order, say, a new wheelie bin and uh, pay for it online uh, all in, in one transaction. So that means that they don't have to ring us or, or um, come into the contact centre. So the contact centre are probably happy with that because more yeah, things are happening outside of, their, yeah, outside of their office time. Um, th there's an interesting, thing, interesting project that you're working on to do with Visit Preston. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Is, is it live yet? Um, it's due to be come live next week. Um, it's basically our tourism website. So it's got lots of information on there about Preston and it's basically um, there to invite people in to, to visit Preston. And so it's very nicely designed, it's got lots of nice images um, and again that's, that's um, run by the same content management system which all our tourism um, staff have access to and they can keep that updated with all the latest tourism information about Preston. So you've got people putting information in to the CMS system. Um, you must also have information that's moving its way through through the, the council in a different way. What, are you using anything else with the CMS? Are you using any other modules? Well, we've got the, the online form system. So um, basically, um, residents can come onto the website and they can um, carry out all kinds of transactions. So they can apply for a job, say, um, online. And then that would come through to our HR office and, um, and they take it from there. Well, I think probably um, that wraps up the, the questions I've got for you this afternoon. So, unless you've got any other comments, we can leave it there. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.